As you know, under the cyclic load, the crack inside the material might initiate and propagate. So, there is a way which tries to predict the crack growth rate, so-called Paris law. Stay in this short video if you wanna know how Paris law works. So, hope you're doing well. As we know, if material is under the cyclic load, a crack could initiate or propagate due to this cyclic load, right? So, this phenomenon called fatigue, yeah. Now, it would be very useful or even very crucial if the engineers be able to predict the crack growth rate in different structures. For example, in a structure inside an airplane or a vehicle, let's say, or whatever, you know. So, there is a log log curve which correlates the crack growth rate with the stress intensity factor range. If you don't know what the stress intensity factor is, please take a look at this lecture, okay, this one, and then again come back here. All right, if I want to draw schematically this figure, would be something like this. Mm. This part is like that. Uh, like this and then uh, here is kind of linear let me uh, draw the linear part the figure is already log log be careful <laughs> yeah okay this part is okay linear and then after the linear part this part is something like this Okay, this figure basically is divided into three quite different regions, as you can see. Okay, let me draw two dashed lines uh, to separate their regions. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's define the mention three regions. This is the region 1, which crack growth is slow. The crack growth starts from here, so, okay. Then, this region, which is region 2, uh, crack growth is stable and Paris law uh, governs this region, okay. We will come back again, this region, I mean region 2 again, alright. Then, this region is the region 3, which crack growth is rapid, you know, and let's say unstable. Then we have three important points in this figure. First, this point, which is the shear hold stress intensity range. It means if the stress intensity factor range is smaller than this shear hold range, then the crack growth has not, like, started yet, and it's zero. The second important point is here, which, uh, which is actually equivalent to the fracture of the material. And the third important point is exactly under the fracture point, like over here, which is the KC, I mean the critical stress intensity factor or fracture toughness of the material. If you're not sure what critical stress intensity factor or fracture toughness is, please watch this short lecture and then come back here. Okay, all right. You know, two persons, namely Paris and Erdogan, have discovered the Paris law relationship for fatigue crack growth in region 2. So, what is this relationship? Let's get into it. Uh, DA over DN equals C times delta K power M. Yeah, like this. So, this relationship is the so-called Paris-Erdogan law or just Paris law. Here, dA over dN is the crack growth rate in meter per cycle. Then delta K is the stress intensity factor range in megapascal square root of meter. Delta K equals the K maximum minus K minimum. Okay. Then C and M are material constants. 
and they could be defined experimentally you know m is unitless here but c not based on the references the m can range two to four for most of the metals in a non-corrosive environment if you come to summary i would say fatigue is the initiation and subsequently the propagation of a crack inside material because of cyclic load there is a lag lag curve which correlates the crack growth rate and stress intensity factor rings the mentioned curve has three different regions in region one the crack growth is slow in region two crack growth is stable but in region three crack growth is fast and unstable reason two follows the following equation which is the so-called paris law or paris erdogan law in this equation the c and m are the material constant and could be determined experimentally thanks for your watching please subscribe for more mechanical lectures bye